In the Gospels, the Son of Man doesn't really mean something. It's a means of referring to himself by Jesus. And of course, as you know, the Son of Man is simply a Semitic way of saying man. Um, it's an ordinary sort of phrase, slightly poetic way of saying man. So, you know, in the Psalms, you, you, it's used in parallel where you need synonymous parallelism. What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man and so on. Uh, it, it's just another way of saying man. Um, so it, it's a very ordinary word in that sense. I, I think it has, it's kind of elevated language, somewhat poetic. Um, which Jesus, I think, uses as a way of referring to himself in the third person um, when he wants to speak about his mission and destiny. So that, that actually covers all of the Son of Man sayings. You know, people have wanted to divide the Son of Man sayings up into present sayings, suffering sayings, apocalyptic sayings. 